Welcome back. It's been a while. I know. Am I still sick? Throat's a bit sore, but that will not stop me. All right. So welcome back to my freelance vanilla was spice. And when I say spice, we got spice. You know that dancehall artist spice. If you don't, then you should go YouTube right now. Spice. Yeah, she hot. Okay, so we're looking at Arabella. She looks like she's a deer caught in headlights. Why? I don't know. She's just always a happy sim. But I know why she's happy. She just got a call from Casey. They were talking for a while. She advised him that um, she's about to head out to dinner to meet a philanthropist that she met while at yoga. So they've decided to come here for dinner. And I'm not going to mess with the what is that anyways i'm not gonna mess with the camera too much so she's like mm -hmm. so this is her guest she met this lady while they were doing yoga been going to a couple classes together and this lady is drop dead gorgeous her name is randy star she advised bella that she's a philanthropist and bella being a doctor she just want to see what she can do for the hospital for any kids that are, you know, in need or anyone that needs help paying medical bills. So she decided to take Bella out to her favorite restaurant. This is the Oasis restaurant. I did not save this, like, identify where I got it from the gallery because this has been in this save game for a long time. But let's look at Miss Randy. She is beautiful. She is. Looking like fine wine, but... She wanted to take us out. So, yeah, we're here to discuss and see what's up. Bella came and sat here. She decided to sit over there. Who are we to complain? So they're just placing their order now for the waiter to come and grab the request and bring it. Look at Bella. She's so pretty. Oh, yeah. So have a shape little shibi. Thank you. We'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. Oh, they're both feeling flirty. This is weird. Is this a flirty restaurant? I don't know. Let's ask her about her career. So, Miss Randy, you wanted to be a philanthropist. That is so nice. Abella learned that Randy's the founder of RH Inc. RH. But your name is Randy Starr. Anyways, who's your favorite? Okay, she's gone to the race. Mm, some very nice. She has your hairstyle, Randy. She does. You're hungry, I know. You're going to use the restroom as well. I think that's Casey's mom. The light in here is super bright. Oh, M G. Turn off this light. Turn off this light. This place is so unforgiving. Color intensity. This line. If you guys don't know how to do this, you're getting a lesson today. It is so harsh. The light in this place. Look at a blizzard outside. She better be giving us some money for these children. For us to be out here like this. Okay, ladies. Anytime now. This restaurant is so bright. And pretty. I think the restrooms are downstairs. Yeah. Girls chat in the restroom. Powder her nose together. Tee hee 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 hee. Ah. Where's the dip? You know. Let's go out. Let's. Let's. Let's see what Randy looks like. Look at her. She's like, hi. How are you? My name's Randy Star. Is this weird? Let's watch her go. Okay. Tick, 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 tick. I don't know who is she. What does she want? What does she want? But I guess that's what Bella is here to find out. Where's her table? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I know he's cute. Let's go, Bella. What's your dainty self? Let's find out some more about Randy. See what she's up to. Okay, so friendly. Yeah, who's your favorite author? You did not respond. My favorite author is Keon Chambers. Oh, see, she gets flirty just talking about him. <laughs> you like the author that wrote about grilled cheese sandwich? Let's give some medical advice for those people. This is so awkward. Why are they flirty? I don't know. Give me a second, guys, because this is like Keon's mom's out here sitting in the freezing cold. Oh, but the warmer thing is there, so not too bad. This is his mom, right? Yeah, Deborah. Who's she with? She's with Omyam Abdul Kadar. Very exotic name. Love it. Oh, My throat is so sore. Okay. Here's your order. Enjoy. Okay, what did you get? Bella got the sizzled brisket over sour clover salad. It's poor quality, made by Lucas Mark. Look, is this Lucas? No, it's not. Whatever. Don't die. What did you get? You got honeycomb garden vegetable cups by Lucas Martin. Normal. Do you have something against Bella? Mr. Martin? Okay, and she's having some River Bossum. Grand La Ray, Nuala. And Bella's having some soft shadow of Ronaldinho. I think that's what it is. Okay. Is she married? Looks like it. Friendly. Let's find out as much as we can. Bemoan the lack of banana for scale. Yes, oh, your you food is horrible. Larkum in the plavar. Won't he? Okay, whatever you just said. Jabim! Shashia grow! Complain about the freezing temperature. But Bella, we need to know more about her. Who is she? Like, why she pick you out? She's still not talking about money. Um, discuss your interests, have a deep conversation. Are you single, ma'am? Are you married? Let's just get to know her. She might volunteer information. She has a ring on this finger, but I think it's a middle finger. She's self-assured. You can tell she's a confident woman. Yeah, Mrs. Chambers, yeah, same side because we... Oh, she's married to Jay. Interesting. Okay, so let's ask her how much money she's going to give us for the charity for the hospital. Um, let's have another deep conversation. So, about the children... How much are you planning to donate for the cause? Because we do have a lot of children that come to the hospital. And just families on a whole. that are, They're not able to afford their medical bills. Would you be able to assist how much money? I wish in the sins you could say how much money are you going to give me? Debate the flavor profiles. Oh. She's asking Bella about her love life. Don't tell her too much about your business. Bella, why aren't you eating? I get to understand that it's poor, but you're hungry. What do you need? You want fun, you want energy. Is she just going to get up and leave? Oh, wow. She's just leaving. Okay, you don't want to eat it? Uh-uh. Okay. So let's end the meal and pay the bill. I don't want to force you to eat something that you don't want. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, stop eating it. Stop eating. Just stop eating it. Bro, Luz Girga. It's horrible. I don't know why she took us here. Okay, let's go home. Let's see you guys. I like the music though. Sound like some African. Listen. Na 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 na. Ding 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 ding. Dance with chambers. Ding 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 ding. Get it, get it. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Okay. Well, let's see, Bella. So poised. But yes, we met with this Randy lady. Let's see if she really donates as you said she would. Don't see any reason for her to lie, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Where, where are you, Bella? Okay, guys, I'll see you once Bella gets home. Okay, guys, Bella's back home. Looks to be raining. And she wants to sleep. Okay. Do you have work tomorrow, sweetie? Yep, you have work in six hours. Doctor. Crap, what's your last name? Dr. Thorpe. So, Bella's dad did not want her to move out. So, he converted this part of the basement and gave it to Bella. I wish your daddy loved you this much. Like, you know, nice big bedroom, sitting area, her little office. Her vanity, her closet, her water closet by herself, and her bathroom. This is just pretty. Could you at least um, brush your teeth, then go to sleep? So, guys, what do you think of Randy? She seems like a very, she is a very confident woman, beautiful. And just to pick Bella out, there's so many doctors at the hospital. Why her? You know what I mean? To want to come and say she want to do philanthropic duties with Bella. But I guess we're going to have to see. I'm going to put Bella to bed and then we hop on over to the main squeeze. KC. I think night on the town is tomorrow. Yep. No, this will be. Yeah, night on town talent showcase then New Year's Eve. Hmm. What do you think Casey's going to do? If I were him, I'd just stay home. Brush your teeth, Bella. Such a lovely decor you have going on here. I'm gonna get it, guys. Nobody commented on how to do my camera mode. Like, help me, please. Uh, get into bed. Oh, she's thinking about an island. I would think about it, too. Hopefully, if we'll get it in The Sims 4 soon. As of today, May 19th, we do not have a tropical world. We need a tropical... Well, Jungle Adventure is tropical. But I mean, the beach, the oceans, the wave, the dolphins, the orcas, the jet skiing, the parasailing, the snorkeling. We need that. Okay, guys. I see you in the morning. I think we're going to start the morning off with KC. I don't know. I'll surprise you. See you guys in the morning. Well, it's 504, but see you guys later. Good morning, guys. I came over. Look who's up. Quarter to six. What are you watching? I look like he's watching the news. How about you go get your early morning jog? And we need to come back and find another gig. Oh, you look nice. Night out on the town. Are you going out on the town tonight? Most importantly, who are you going on the town with tonight? Hmm. Be careful, buddy. There's, there's just a lot of vehicles. Oh, that nanny's heading off to work. Or is she going to the coffee shop? I think that's a coffee shop outfit. Casey, what are you going to do? I won't run with you. I'm lazy today. Azor. Your romance with Azor is going down. Azor got married? <gasps> what? 
I'm telling you, this game waits on no one. This game waits on no Azor got married. Who is she married to? Eddie Santos. Do we know Eddie? Well, you know what that means. You do not come back over my house. You don't. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Isn't that something? We got to find out more about this. Any well, you know, I don't really care. Let's search for a gig. We got money. We have 4,700. We are rich. We don't have to stress about bills right now. Speaking of bills, do we have any bills due? Do we have any bills due? Nope, we do not. Okay. Let's see what's out there. I hope that woman don't request it. She was so suspicious with that Bella thing. Don't you know what I'm talking about? Like, who is Bella? Why is everyone talking about Bella? Okay, 132.65. I won't even read those because we're rich. Breaking into the crime genre. Help. We need more detective stories. Those two are the highest paying. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, the old mystery, you know the one. <gasps> Again? She's back. She's flipping back. Let's see the other ones. Breaking into the crime genre. But sh this one's back. We're working on solving the real life mystery of who bought a piano classic for Bella. She's back. I worked for you last time. I'm not working for you again. 3,115. That's good. But there are things here paying more money. So. There's this one. Help. We need more detective stories. Slater Publishing House is contracting talented writers to help pen detective stories for monthly publication, Sluts and Scuff Laws. If you have a talent for building a compelling mystery and complex culprits, we want to work with you. So is that we would get this job like every week or so? Because we could take 3000 per week. That's amazing. And this is also Slater Publishing House starting up a brand new series focusing on crimes and the criminals that commit them. Aiming to get into the motivations and allure of societal anathema. We're looking for a real mastermind to write for us. Well, you see, this one is paying like $300 more. This one seems a little bit more. Detective, you know what? We need to investigate who this person is. So, we are going to write. We need more detective store. Not because it pays more. That has nothing. Nothing to do with that says me okay so that i believe was due on sunday today's friday night on the town is tonight i go use the potty and then let's meet the client i don't th have you ever written mystery before casey i think we did for the stranger real thing but not of this caliber so we need to get this out. Is Bella at work today? I'd love to take her out. But I can't believe this girl got up out of my bed and went to get married. Oh, he's in the army. So, Azar, it was nice knowing you. It was very, very... No, not... I don't want to talk to you. She married someone from the army. Interesting. Very Interesting. Yes, yeah, she's at work. Two Sims, one heart, their soulmate. Let's send her a text message and say, hey, want to go out on the town tonight? I'd love to go with you. Okay, let's chat with a client. <clears throat> Casey spent Christmas at his family. It was similar to Thanksgiving, so I didn't want to repeat that. Because what I hate is a monotonous gameplay. So, I just skipped over that part. 
He always wants a drink when he's gonna write. Hope this client is nice. You need a new laptop. It is old and ugly. Hey, tell me about the client, Casey. Give me something. There's no expression on your face or oh. nothing. Oh. Okay. I want to know how deep your brain can go. Guys, Casey was thinking of cutting his dreads <laughs> off. What do you think? He's been rocking this hairstyle since. Flipping before, like end of high school. What do you think? Huh. Let me know to see if we should cut his dreads off or not. Uh. Casey, could you hurry up? Oh, this seems like it's not going too oh. well. Okay. We're almost done. Casey, we're going to have to really push our talent to write this one because mysteries aren't easy. Okay. Rude client. Some people just don't know how to communicate. Spirits are not high for this one. Guys, I could tell you. I know my Sims. He was like, what the nonsense is this? Like, this is not going to be easy. Let's just light the fire. <sighs> this is not going to be a good one. But we can push through. Remember that first one that was nasty? Where's my buddy? Brayden, are you at work? Yeah, they have normal jobs. We don't. Do you want to go get a, like, a massage before you get started on this book? We got money. We're rich. Let's go. Let's go get a nice massage before we start writing the book. Should we take anyone with us? No. Just going to go by ourselves. How do you know all these people? How? Just go by ourselves. Let's go get a deep massage. Perp herself up to write this mystery book. Is there a spa here? There's one right here. In Oasis Springs. Let's not go too far. I don't want to go anywhere where it's like raining. Wintering. Okay, see you guys there. You're going to chat with Meredith. Is Meredith going to give you a massage? I believe she is. Don't don't go to her. She was like very angry oh, walking. Uh -huh. Arena or Let us hey. get a deep tissue massage know. from Meredith nice. Chow. He's in a row. Yalanim. Oh, Gosha. Meredith, I'm going to need you to not speak to me in that very nice tone. You're a pretty Asian lady, though. How, how are you sleepy? <laughs> that doesn't look right. Why are you scratching his back? <laughs> lady! <laughs> Okay, I don't think you were really making an impact. Uh, that's all you know to do is to just bend him. No wonder this place isn't full. What are you guys even doing? You know he has another shoulder, right? Why don't you do the other shoulder? What is that? What is that? What about his legs? Hey, see, we need we need to tip her. Um, can we tip? We're not introducing ourselves because you introduce. You know what? Never mind. I don't see the part where to tip you. Do you guys realize there is one, two, three, four extra mats here? Is it? It's four, right? One, two, three, four mats, and both of y'all want to share the same yoga mat. What is even this nonsense? Let's go home, buddy. 
Just take an afternoon nap. Not sure why you didn't sleep last night. But I guess it is what it is. Hear that, guys? That's my iced coffee. Iced coffee is imperative to my life. Okay. I'll see y'all when Sleepy Casey gets home and then we start writing, okay? Okay, guys. So Casey came home. He took a nap. Took a shower. Now he's just making some tacos for himself. He decided, you know what? He's not going to celebrate this. He don't want to take Bella out. Yes, he's going to take Bella. Zora's married. And it's not like Bella was a second choice or anything. But don't want to take her out on the free night out on the town. He His woman deserves the best. So he's going to take her out tomorrow for New Year's Eve. Absolutely. Cook your food, Papa. Cook your food. Okay, so let's sit and eat. Grab your drink. Remember, we'll choke. So let's have a quick meal. Let us grab some orange juice. Grab some milk, buddy. Grab some milk. Um, guys, Casey's here eating his food. There's a knock on the door. It's not 2 o'clock in the morning. So, who is it? Okay. Mm. Call him over. Why did you knock on my door and away? Are you okay, sir? Sir, you can't just come in my house and start screaming. Who are you? Look how calm Casey's being. He's like, what do you want? Really? Really? Because Casey's going to punch you in the throat. What? Oh! <gasps> Casey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Because this is your house. See, so, fight him, Casey. F fight him. You know what, guys? I'm going to end it here. Just, I'm going to end it here. See you guys later. This man has no, no sense.